Welcome to the Hidden Garden. This is the fourth level of the level series called the Hidden Dagger. Let's activate some music. Now I was wondering, is the Hidden Dagger hidden in the Hidden Garden? Or is it just lying around because it's in a Hidden Garden that it's classified as hidden already? I don't know, let's head this way. We want to just bomb it into the water here. Pick up a double Uzi clip pick up by this dead guy. Come over here and swing this lever. Now that lever activated or spawned a ninja. Probably has a better name, but I'm just going to call it ninja. Probably has a name according to Tomb Raider lore, but eh. Okay, head on over here. Let's light a flare in this dark-ish area. The shrubbery is guarding. <laughs> guarding. This hidden passage. This hidden passage in the hidden garden to find the hidden dagger. But all you get is this hidden secret. And it's the mm -hmm. stone dragon. This TRL has been pretty cool. I think every first secret's been the hidden... <laughs> Excuse me. The stone dragon. Let's not waste that flare cancel stick. So that's cool. Uh, let's move this box back twice. On this ledge, camera left. There's a small med pack. Talking about med packs, this is still a no meds, no saves video. No loads, no meds is quite an epic challenge in the Tomb Raider community. I hit my head. So I don't want to call it that since, um, you know, this is just individual levels. Mm -hmm. So that's why I wanted to call it no meds, no saves. Right. Slaughter the kitty and leave. Now, that lever opened that big door down there, and this tile activates two ninjas. Where are you going, man? What are you doing? Okay, well, that's the thing. So a lot of these, there's a lot of these ninjas in this in this level. Kind of why I was a bit sparing on my Uzi ammo before this level. And now most of them, if not all of them, don't drop anything. But I think earlier today one of them got drunk. And while I was using his phone on this bench over here, he dropped... Mm -hmm. The M16 out of his pocket. That's what happens, man. Go in here. Yet another ninja. Heading on down this way spawns another ninja. Actually... Perfect. Finish that ammo. Let's continue. We'll go down that pretty place soon. This lever starts a timed run. What you're probably going to do is jump and roll like that, but you'll stumble. You can, however, after pulling the lever, turn a little bit. Backflip and you hit your head on the ceiling and then you don't stumble but I'm gonna just do the flare cancel should make it comfortably but if you stumble it's gonna be a little bit tight pick up these flare cancel sticks from this dead guy you see so adequately supplied with these things this is the activation tile for boulder that's coming up for me right now. That activates another one behind me, or camera behind me. Just go down this, this slope. 
get a little bit burnt by lava splatter. That's cool. Head on up here. I know this this blade is pretty annoying. But go to the left here. Critical that you come this way first before climbing up. That lets you leave. Now the interesting thing here is... I'm just going to go lower. There's a certain step. I think it's four steps below that blade. If you do a backflip off the, the ladder at four steps down from the blade, the game crashes. It's insane. Okay, you want to line yourself up with that dark brick there. So you can make that. Climb up here just as you see that ledge. Just jump off. Over this side. Do another back jump and roll. Need to go all the way down to the end there. Grab the ledge and claim the giant gold key. Mm -hmm. I'll just YOLO back to here. Perfectly on that. Uh, brick, the, the hand hold on the whatever, so you can make it back to there. Let's get out of this noise, man. Or maybe you find me talking worse than the blaze. I don't know. Okay, you can jump back now. I don't know why I'm being so careful now, okay? Come on, ninja! Oh. Right! This is where that key goes. Wow, that was a delayed door sound. Okay, so never use that. That's pretty much done. Those are zero. That's still okay. That's 120. Let's use this. Got hit anyway, but that's fine. Mm -hmm. Right, claim that from that dead guy, and this from that dead guy. Mm -hmm. Let's move this box so we can leave. Still thinking about the last level, that uh, Oceanic Sister, and I really like that level, you know, combining the... Oh, right, we want to leave, but... You need to come and press this. I need to. You don't need to. Cool. Um, yeah, the Oceanic Cistern, you know, it reminds me of Tomb Raider 1 and old Pierre, Pierre Dupont. A little too late for the prize giving, no? Still, it is the taking part which counts. Every no loads, no meds runner will know until they figured out how to avoid Pierre, how annoying he is. Okay, that button opened that grate down there. So let's fall in there.
swim to the Yade Dragon and give me the ammo that I was not wanting. Righty. So this brings us to a entirely secret area which pops out over here. You would have ended up if you had run over that grate, um, you know, and slid, is slid a word? I think it is. Slid down there, but let's just go from here. Wow, that one jump was very, very close. But focus now again. I think you can just jump off from here. Cool. Got to be extra careful with this nonsense. Right. So this is a timed, timed run. Let's open that door. Best way to do this: look down through the wall like that until you can see the the bag. Now anticipate it. Actually, go look this way. Wait for it to be that side. There. There. Then run to the left. I touched it, but that's okay. Wasn't perfect, but I'm not dead. We've got some of this ammo, so let's use it. Just be patient. Patient. And there was another family guy reference. That stupid doctor says, Hello, let me just take a look at your file. It's, what's your name here? Oh, here we go. Mr. Patient. Okay, um, we need to go into that water there. But there's a gold catfish, and those can really drain your health. But there's not much I can do. Look at it just waiting there, man. Look at that health drain. This is bad. What? Just, he did, it wasn't, when do they stop swimming? He's just waiting there for me, man. Bastard. What a little shit. Okay, let's carry on regardless. I think they are ninjas, but they only spawn once I pick these up. Yes, no? No. Once I pull this. Now I have to be overly careful because of that fish. I don't know what to say about that experience. Go up here. Push this box. Now the level builder made a good effort in hiding the last secret and I cannot access it yet but it's got something to do with that place. Okay, this ladder is where we're going to need to go but not yet. Okay, I actually haven't killed this tiger yet. I think. No. Let's get back those shotgun shells. Mm -hmm. Put the pistols away, please. 
Cool. Now, in the whole process of the tiger, I forgot what's going on. Okay, the waterfall's key. That's back in the first area. By the waterfalls. So let's dock that key in there. Now, grab some items. Try not fail as hard as that. It's better. Cool. Um, in this water, we have uh, a couple of these bastards. I wanted to go ahead and use the harpoon gun. But because I'm in such dire straits with health, I'm can't take a chance. I don't know where this second one spawns. Hold on. Okay. Yes! Okay. Normally I could just get in here and do everything you need to do inside this place, but I'm not going to make it. Um, so just pick up these items. And then get some air. The barthometer is low. I'm actually thinking to myself, there's this one point right near the end of the level, which similar to that place with the ladders, has got a tendency for the game to crash and you know that'll okay where what am i doing that'll be upsetting to get right to the end and then it crashes so uh now that i'm there because i don't i don't have a, a strategy to make sure that it doesn't crash so I might just have to do a safety save there. Okay, so that lever did something. I was busy thinking about the crashing of the game. So I wasn't very focused. And by not very focused, I have no idea what I just did. Okay, that it's definitely not that. Um, it's got to be this. Yes. I'm gonna have to play that extra safe as well because I've got no health. Just be wary of the spikes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so I'm just going to jump up here to be safe. I'm not sure what kind of strat to use now. So I have to do everything extra safe. Okay, good. It's so intense now because of that freaking fish. Okay, there's a large med pack in this water. And you can get it if you if you get it quickly and move to the exit quickly, but you would take a little bit of damage. So I cannot afford to get that. 
Right. All righty. Now, this is where things get interesting. Not right now, but as far as the secrets are concerned, it gets interesting. Oh, no. well, okay, we'll get to that now. You've got to pull this block out here so you can reach that button. Dark. And then you can claim this key. Mm -hmm. But before we do any of that, advancement into this level, come back this side and pull this block back where it was. Sorry, and now that we have access to this, from this side, let's head down. Don't do that. Not that way. Now I just lost more health. Don't stand on that. That's weak. Weak. Okay, yeah, basically, norm in like other Tomb Raider games, you wouldn't have access to just try and walk onto the spike platform that came down. Oh, I'm so worried about this. Can I afford to YOLO? <laughs> this is not a time for YOLO. Okay, I got this, I got this. So this is the box that I just moved. that over to there in this very elaborate secret and the final secret as it should be the gold dragon nicely on top of this roof there she is Right, so after, during all that stuff, we got the gate key, and actually the gate is this way. That's the harpoon gun. Sorry. So let's head on up this way. I can't believe I walked onto that frickin' thing that kills you. <sighs> what was I what was I doing? Just panicking the whole time? Wait. Okay, this place is quite safe. There's that awesome door. Use the gate key. Now I feel obliged to speak in my normal way, because now I'm panicking, this is it. Because now I've got to save for the sake of the game crashing. Mm -hmm. But not let it seem like it's because I've got such low health. I'm, I'm going to save, mm -hmm. okay, because it might very well crash. 
There's the thing we want. If it crashes and I have to load, that's okay. If I die, I'm probably just going to finish the video, but it's a fail. I'm going to put in brackets fail. Okay, let's do this. Let's actually light a new flare. I'm just going to throw some flares around here. Wait, did I say? After all that, I didn't say. Okay, just do some Doom strats. If you've ever played Doom, you just run around in circles. Well, in a lot of situations in Doom, you just run around in circles. Okay. That's everyone for now. For now. Oh, I got hit. This is so doom right now. That's where I came in. Let's not go that way. Bomb that thing in there. It's quite a nice actual looking item. I like that. There it is. There's the hidden dagger. Took a little bit long, because I was too careful. <laughs> Got all the secrets, didn't use the health pack. I did save, but it was genuinely because of the game crashes when you grab that dragon head. Let's get on to the final level, shall we?